let us try to solve this problem which tests your understanding of the elements and the sets and the subsets right now there is a set a that is given to be one two there, there is another set okay three four here and then there is an element five right and we have to state which of these following statements are true or false there are 11 of the uh, 11 of these statements now now it says 3 4 is a subset of a right now what happens 3 4 here occurs as an element we know that it is the elements which are separated by the commas so 3 4 though it is a set is still an element of set A right so this is a false statement okay 3 4 belongs to A is a true statement this whole set belongs to this set right 3 4 is an element and if I put another curly bracket right across that uh, around that then it is then it is a subset right so here it is true okay this is this is a subset okay one as an element belongs to a this is true right one as an element cannot be a subset if you wanted it to be a subset it should have been something like that right so since it is not that it is it is false right 1, 2, 5. 1, 2, 5 are elements enclosed within the brackets. They become a set. So, so this is true, right? This is indeed a subset. 1, 2, 5 within bracket cannot belong to this, right? This is not an element. Elements are 1, 2, 5 without brackets. So, this is false, right? 1, 2, 3 is a subset. This is, this is also false, right? Why? Because 3 is not an element, right? Phi belongs to A. No, phi is a subset, always a subset of A. So, it will not belong to this, right? So, so this is false. However, this is true, right? And, and this actually does not mean anything, right? Phi within enclosed brackets is, does not mean anything. So, this is false, correct? So we should understand when are we talking about an element, when a set can become an element and when a set itself can become a subset. That is pretty important for the understanding of the elements and the subsets. Right?